eventually landed in LA. We are at Extreme Airsoft. I'm here with one and only Greg, or Spartan, yep. 711 GW, get that right as you may know him. And we've got the, uh, the Jurassic Park Jeep with us. Been here for like, in the country for like four hours and now we're going on another five hour drive to Phoenix. And then in the morning, we drive from Phoenix to New Mexico, which is what, another six, five? Four, it's about four and a half. Four and a half hours. So, yeah, we've got a, we've got a long way to go, so. A little ways to go, but it's not as bad as people like it. Let's get to it. Okay, so it is 25 past midnight. We have just entered Arizona. Uh, we've still got about 180 miles to go to Phoenix, so uh, we've got a long drive ahead of us tonight. We should hopefully get there about 3 a.m. Anyway, check out this service station where it is. It's fucking weird. Tucson, Arizona. Still got West some way to go. It's 31 degrees right now. I don't know if that shows up. So myself and Greg are now uh, at Playas. We're walking around the AO. Uh, it is hot. Well, it's hot for me. Um, we're in the Afghan village right now. I'll do a little pan around and I'll show some clips in a second from a, uh, we're just having a time to kind of check out the AO and have a look around. It is a huge site as well, like it is big. So there's gonna be a lot of running and hopefully a lot of vehicle use. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. Um, yeah, there's quite a few vehicles here this year too. Yeah, we're just checking trucks. out. We're just checking out some of the guys who've got a gun truck and we're checking out the uh, the e-bike uh, Hummer and stuff. So it should be some cool vehicle gameplay, hopefully. So it's gonna be good, I'm excited, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Hello. Oh, hi. Morning. Morning. What's the plan today then? Uh, we're gonna do. I think before we head out, we're probably gonna do a loadout video. Me and Jeremy, and then we'll probably just go out for a couple hours. I'll check your mic stuff, but I don't want to do that. It's right here. There you go. Uh, See, uh, what an idiot. I know, right? How much of an idiot do I look like? So is this what you've been running this, this weekend, Jonathan? Yeah, I'm gonna turn it down, yeah, this is what I'm running. And it's the Classic Army, is it? Yeah, Classic Army, this is the AMS-413. Or AMS-413. It's like an AMS-4 or something like that. ARS-4. And has it been going well? Yeah, it's actually been running good. I've already stripped it down, stocks already changed out. Just the problem when you borrow a gun for the game, you know? It's, it's cool, so you don't have to travel much, the pain to travel guns. Um, but it's nice because then you get to uh, show up, run something, and then just turn it back, don't have to clean it, don't have to mess with it. Well, here we have Kiyoki's uh, badass pew pew stick. <laughs> nice. And that's the uh, atom slide, isn't it? The yeah, that's the PTS, PTS one. one. Yep. That's beautiful. This is Greg's uh, Ares M110 DMR. Josh, 
It's pretty accurate. Aim for that blue sign, aren't it? Yep. It is uh, nice. Beautiful. It is a beautiful day in New Mexico. In the middle of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Fuck you. I know the, 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 the farmer dad is real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These two are the reasons I'm never coming back to America again. <laughs> you take your time away from family, work, etc. You come hang out with us for a weekend. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Come and hang out with your trigger buddies and have a good time. So but thank you guys for coming, honestly. Thank you. Okay. So with that being said, I know it's hot. You guys gotta get on the road. We're out in the middle of nowhere. So we'll start the raffle with Extreme Airsoft. Please give them a round of applause for coming Woo! over. Play with you guys, so I just want to say, yeah, thanks. Yeah. It's been awesome, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Here we go. You, which side are you on? <laughs> I'm messing with you. <laughs> so, I'm here with Jonathan from Acidology. He doesn't need any introduction. I think everyone pretty much knows who you are. I don't know. I don't know. He's, well, you know who this guy is. He does a lot of. Uh, Answers a lot of questions on his videos. So about three videos a week, something like that. About three to four, three minimum. If you so don't watch his four. channel, uh, Apple will leave a link down in the description below. We are now. It's pretty much closing up. It's sounding pretty quiet. Um, this is what about half past one in the afternoon. I think something like that now. Yeah. So yeah, exactly half past one. Exactly half past Man, one. Nailed it. So. The day's coming to a close. We, I did a little bit of shooting today. You were just taking some pictures and videos. Yeah, today. today was media day, so we got a ton of shooting in. I've got plenty of bleeders up and down my arm from yesterday. Not as much as you, though. Yeah, I got. You've got. That CQB fight at the end, I got pretty pretty gnarled, but uh, it's all good fun. It's yeah. all worth it. By the way, this guy's a legit good player. After watching him do his thing, seriously, legit good. I'm jealous. You got some skills. Thank you, man. <laughs> well, I was going to say, it's been good seeing. That's been one of the exciting things is seeing kind of the style of play between the guys in the UK and the guys in America. And actually, it's not as different as I expected. The environment obviously does change the way you play because of how the building's laid out and the kind of weather and stuff. But when it comes to CQB and actually getting up close and personal, it's pretty much the same. So I was expecting some major differences, but no, everyone kind of, everyone was playing fair, had a good time, so yeah. Now it's my turn to come your way. Yeah, we were saying this before inside that hopefully Jonathan can now come across to the UK, uh, play a couple of mil The only problem with the UK is the events are few and far between, so like, I get the impression in the US you can come for like two weeks and play like a whole bunch of events whilst in the UK. It's pretty much, except for like like a stint in the winter, you're probably up out of creek and then maybe a little bit in the middle middle of the summer. Yeah. Whilst in the UK it's kinda like uh, if you come for two weeks, you'd probably get like two events in. So it's kind of a bit of a shame. But, That's uh, cool. I'll come for two weeks, get two events in, and I'll have a whole lot of fun in between. Yeah, yeah you go look around around and stuff. So yeah. So stay tuned in the future. Hopefully we'll see Jonathan do some UK melts. Really cool. And by the way, if you're watching this and you haven't hit the subscribe button under here for him, <laughs> press the button. That's Thanks, guys. Right down there. Well, anyway, that's going to wrap up this vlog. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. We're just going to head back to Phoenix now and back to LA and on with the rest of the trip. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Uh, see you.